All right, for this one, negative 4 plus 5, did you have a 1 as the result of the parentheses? Yeah. And square the 1 to get 1, and then multiply by negative 4 to get negative 4? Uh, oh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah, you're right. Negative 4 is squared, it's 16. Did you have 16? No, I didn't have 16. Oh, okay. So that's where it's at. So over here you'd have 2 times a negative 4, then it would be 8. Try this one. So x squared, you're going to have negative 1 squared times negative 3 for this part. Did you come up with negative 3? Yeah. Okay. So then we'll have plus a negative 1 times the quantity of negative 3 minus a negative 1, then square that. So did you get a 2 for inside here? And then 2 squared is 4? Alright, so we should end up with negative 7. Last one. So on this first part, you should have 6 divided by negative 2. Did you get a negative 3? No. Or, you, uh, yeah. And then 12 times a negative 2 divided by 6. So this up here should be a negative 24 divided by 6, which would be a negative 4. No. I didn't have a negative. Uh-oh. So at the end we would have minus a negative 2 so this is negative 7 plus 2 which would be negative 5 the winning number today is 2 if you have all the work shown for your homework bring it up here 100 percent for homework today Number one is 1,560. Two is 2,065. Three is 1,510. Four is 2,500. 5 is 1,575. 6 is 209. 7 is 210. 8 is 214. 9 is 229. 10 is 245. Example 1. Jack earns his regular pay of $8.25 per hour for up to 40 hours of work in a week. For each hour over 40 hours of work in a week, Jack is paid one and a half times his regular pay. How much does Jack earn for a week in which he works 62 hours. All right. So what would be the first step to solving this? Okay, so 8.25 times 40. And what do we come up with? Uh, 330. Any of you get 330? All right, so for a 40-hour work week, he's going to get $330. Now, he's going to work 62 hours this week. So what should we do to find out how much money he's earned for, that, for the overtime? Multiply 8.25 times 1.5. Okay, 8.25 times 1.5. And when we do that, I come up with 10.3125. Should I do something to that? 
12.375. For 8.25 times 1.5? Yes. Are you sure you typed that in right? I have 12.375. Oh, I thought you said, uh, okay. I don't, for some reason I wrote down 10.3125, so, oh, I see what I did. 8.25 times 1.5, yeah. 12.375, okay, now we're good. What should I do with that number? Times that by 12. Not yet. Round it up. you got to round it. 12.38. Because that's money, or that depends on if you round it or not. Um, Twelve dollars and thirty-seven and a half cents. If we round it, it goes up. So he's earning extra money that he's really not supposed to get. If you round it down, he gets cheated out of a half a cent for every so many uh, times it goes through. So why don't we just find an even spot in the middle? Why don't we just leave it the way it is? We'll just leave it as twelve dollars and thirty-seven and a half cents. Because when you go to buy gas. It's, if it's 435, it's really 435 and 9 tenths of a penny. Like they have that little 9 there. Yeah. So you can have a fraction of a penny. So we'll leave it like that. So this is what his pay is per hour for overtime. All right, so what do we do with it? Times out by 22. What's 22? The number of extra hours you work over 40. Right, so we're going to go 22 times 12.375. What did you get? Uh, 272.25. 272.25. Now what do we do? Add that to 330. Yes, add that to 330. And what do we come up with? 602.25. $602.25 is what he makes for that week. Jack earns his regular pay of twelve dollars and thirty cents per hour and for his overtime he is paid 1.75 times the regular pay how much does Jack earn for a week in which he works 82 hours alright Jack earns his regular pay of 12.30 an hour and for each hour over 40 hours, he's paid 1.75 times his regular pay. So to start with, <clears throat> we're going to have to do $12.30 and multiply that by 40. So if you do 12.30 times 40, you should come up with 4.92. Is that what you had? Yep. All right. So 4.92. Now... We're going to have to multiply his hourly rate, 12.30, by 1.75. 1 12.30 times 1.75 is 21.525. All right. That's what he's going to make an hour for his overtime hours. So you're going to have to multiply that by the amount of hours he spent past 40. So he's... He's worked 82 hours, so he's going to work 42 hours overtime. So multiply 21.525 uh, by 42, and that is 904.05. Did you have that number? <laughs> well, that, that makes a difference. Now that you know that step's got to go in there, then you'll, you'll get the next one right. So you got to add both of those in there. you got to add both of these numbers together. So 904.05 plus 492 is 1396.05. This one is for 10 points. Jack earns his regular pay of $20 per hour. And for each hour over 40 that he works, he's going to be paid 2.5 times his regular pay. And the week for this week, what he's working is 72 hours. Find out how much money he made. On the practice problem, the first thing you have to do is to multiply $20 per hour 
times 40 to get his regular weekly pay, which in this case is going to be 800. Now multiply the $20 per hour by 2.5 to come up with 50. That's how much money he's going to be making per hour on his overtime. 72 hours total, so he has 32 hours of overtime. 50 times 32. It's going to be 1600. So 1600 plus the 800 is going to give you $2400 for that week. The bonus is 4. Multiple choice. Pick the letter. Bring it up and show it to me. You have $20 per vehicle, V, and $10 per person, P, so this is the only option that makes sense, A. Everybody had the right answer on this one, and it is F negative 20. Last one. Three answers are the same, one is different for what was turned in. So we're going to look at the first copy machine. It makes 60 copies per minute. And if you look down in the problem, both machines stop making copies eight minutes after the first machine started. So that means 60 copies times eight is going to give me 480. And if the first one ran for eight minutes, the second one started making copies two minutes after. So that means it ran for six minutes. And that's going to be 80 times six, which is 480. Add those together to get 960, so the answer is E. Example three. Discount tickets to a basketball tournament sell for $7 each. Sarah spent $35 on discount tickets, which is, and I didn't write the words which is, but it's, it's still the same meaning. The $35 she spent on discount tickets is $20 less than if she had bought the tickets at the regular price. What was the regular price of the tickets? Where do I start first to solve it? Um, well, you're going to add 20 to 35, and it's going to be 55. And then since she bought five tickets on the discount price, you're going to take five. How do you know five, she bought five tickets? Because seven times five is 35. Right, so 35 divided by 7 gave you the $5, and you're multiplying, and with that $5, you're going to go back, and after you add this together, here, you get $55, which is what it would have been, and if you divide that by the number of tickets, you come up with $11 per ticket. Discount tickets to a basketball tournament sell for $14 each. Sarah spent $196 on discount tickets. $400 less than if she had bought tickets at the regular price. What was the regular ticket price? Everybody had the right answer for this at your desk practice and it was 42.57, so there is no need to work it out on the screen. Discount tickets to a basketball tournament sell for $13 each. Sarah spent $182 on discount tickets, which is $84 less than if she had bought the tickets at the regular price. What was the regular price? Discount tickets to the basketball tournament sell for 13 and she spent 182 so we're going to do 
182 divided by 13, which is 14. That means she spent $14 on, or not, she didn't spend $14, but there were 14 tickets that she bought. Now, $182 were spent, but it was 84 less than what it would have been. So you add that 84 to the uh, 182 and come up with 266. That's what it would have been at the regular price. So now you have to divide the 266 by 14. 266 divided by 14 comes out to be 19 exactly.